Hey everybody, um, so I want to show you guys a Dynamo script. Uh, I've got this up on GitHub. I know it's been a minute since I've made any videos. Um, it's just going to be like that for some time until um, I just find more time to actually get to these. Um, I try to record on the weekends, uh, but it's been rough trying to, to make time for them. Um, so I'm just going to slip them in when I can, uh, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy them and you get some value out of them. So, um, and yeah, I just, I, I currently I just, I don't want to stick to any strict schedule um, and just put them out there uh, when I can. So, today we're going to look at this uh, script. Um, if you've seen my videos before, I'm not going to go through all the picks and clicks. Um, I personally don't watch videos like that. I prefer to open uh, Dynamo up. Now it's okay to watch videos like that. That's cool. Uh, it helps people and I encourage that. It's just that's not the format uh, of my videos. There are times where I will go through the picks and clicks, but I found that I do not enjoy that. <laughs> Putting them together is a lot of fun to me. But I personally learn by just opening up scripts and just going through them and, and kind of seeing node from node what's happening. Um, and then also doing challenges like this. So um, this stairs, this spiraling stairs here, um, it, the reason why I created it was because I saw um, uh, Timo, uh, I think he's from Ramble, um, uh, I saw a post on, on LinkedIn from him. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, uh, but this is the post. And you can see here, uh, there's this uh, example. Now, I don't know if there's a grasshopper script that goes with it. Um, I think here is where he mentions... Um, and it looks like it's just, it might be, these might be just other resources. But I think this was originally built in Grasshopper. And I wanted to tackle it in Dynamo. Uh, and I also encouraged my firm to, to do this challenge as well. That people, um, I host a, a computational uh, meeting every other week. And I encourage them to try it. They're very new to, to any of these. So this was a... I think a big challenge for them, uh, but I really like that stuff because I think it, it's a fun way to just do cool things. I will actually now do them for fun, um, just if I'm bored, challenges like that, uh, even if I do have practical like other things that I need to do, I'll sometimes save those for when I'm actually working uh, and then do the fun ones. Um, um, you know, just do them. Because, uh, and the reason why I say that is because I encourage people when they don't have practical solutions to at least try the fun ones. I'm not saying you should do do these on the clock or do the fun ones, but the um, when you don't have practical solutions or things that you're trying to solve from a day to day just project thing, um, project uh, support or whatever, then these these here these challenges can push you to learn new things and um and there's just so many benefits to, to doing it i think um so i try to balance that with hey check it out try it i know it's not practical or at least it doesn't seem that way when you're trying to build something like this especially uh the firm i work for we're an mep so building a bunch of stairs may not make sense in the moment but i'm like there's so many nodes and things that you'll use in this example that would use in many other uh, scenarios using MEP related uh, elements or, or doing stuff in uh, within Revit. Um, so I love these these kinds of things and, and on previous uh, examples or previous videos I've talked about doing doing it um, uh, or doing these challenges. Um, uh, and, and I reference a book, uh, Mathematical Art, uh, and then there's also that course um, that I did uh, that um, uh, there's a, an entirely separate YouTube video or channel for it, and it was all taught in Grasshopper, and I would rebuild this stuff in, in YouTube. 
all of that's on my GitHub, so if you want to check it out, feel free to do that. Um, just like this script, this script will be out there as well. And I'm going to actually open that up so that we can, so I can make sure to show you guys that. Um, and you are welcome to just download it and use it. I built this in 2.13, so feel free to check that out and uh, open it up and, and, and kind of see what's going on. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to change in this. So here's all the inputs. Everything's grouped to the left here. And... Um, or in the beginning of, a, of the script typically the inputs I just drag them over here if there's a bunch of them um, group them if necessary so that people know which ones so we've got the start of uh, the, the script and that's just going to make it or sorry the start of the, the stairs that's just going to make it bigger because um, that's just going to make the this point right here right here uh, um, start way out there and so there's that um, we've got the pitch so if I bump that up you'll see the pitch change uh, the most difficult thing uh, of these of this script was the stairs because um, and uh, I didn't give it much thought, which makes me kind of think that there may be an easier way to go about this or about the stairs, but because the stairs are all at different angles, I had to uh, figure out kind of use the um, the curves that were already going around, uh, f divide those up, uh, connect the points, and then figure out uh, by those two lines how the vector or uh, um, create another line and then a, a vector to determine what angle the steps needed to be at. So that was the hardest part. Um, I think in total this script took um, about uh, an hour and a half, um, somewhere around there. Uh, so that's turns. This is 90 degrees, uh, 90 degree turns. So you can see that there. Um, we've got the railing height. So railing thickness, and you can see if I zoom in, I made it extrude outwards, on outwards that way for the outside one, and for the inside one, it, it extrudes inwards. Um, and then we've also got the step thickness. And then there's one last um, extrusion or uh, uh, input that I think is valuable, and that's like how many steps. And now this could be parametric. I didn't build this into it. It should, I would imagine, if we um, determine that there needs to be so many steps um, and the width needs to be whatever, uh, or the depth of the steps, then... Uh, I think this part needs to be parametric, but uh, also the last two down here are the stairs and, and railing colors. Um, so this part could be parametric, but I think uh, for this example, I'm just going to drag it over. If I remember right, that I think that's the steps. Yeah, that's the division, so we've got 77 divisions. and. If you see, if I change the turns, you'll see the steps, how they get much bigger. Um, and so what I mean by parametric is instead of having a slider here, you would maybe have an input that says, oh, for every 90 turn that you add to this, add another four steps or, or something like that. Um, and so, which you know what, since we're doing this video I may I may show you that but let's first change that to 100 so you can see visually what happens so you can see there's more steps uh, if I go down here up this up to 200 you can now again if we change that you'll see that there's uh, more steps but let's try this um, I think this will be a cool example um, to put together so since we're going by 90s what I can do is just put a code block probably there and then do X uh, divided by 90. Um, and then that should give us uh, the, the turns. 
and um, I could even change, well, I actually like this value showing as 90s. Uh, that may not be the most intuitive thing, uh, but I think it makes sense. Because I thought about like doing one, two, three, four, and then just and just um, um, uh, multiplying that by 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 ninety to get the degrees. But I think this is more. This is clearer to the end user. Um, so we've got twenty, and what we can do there is um, so that's what do we got here? So we've got two hundred steps. That looks. I would say maybe 250. So 250 looks kind of right. Um, so we could do 20 times times 12. And I just want to do them as separate code blocks instead of one, just so that we could see the outputs. So we've got 240. Um, what we can do now is instead of have that slider into it, we can pull that into the divisions. Uh, we can see that change a little bit because it's 240 instead of 250. Now we don't need this, and that's better for us. Now we don't have to think about the stairs. Um, it's parametric now, so it's uh, now if we change this, we'll have consistent um, consistent steps or the steps with. So if we change it again, and right up, you could see there we don't see any change, and that's oh shoot. And it looks like I froze, or it froze. So let me, I'm going to pause the video and then we'll, we'll jump back into it and take a look after I uh, reopen it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I've got it working. I'm not sure why it froze. Um, there's not really anything I added to it. It's, it's still doing the same thing. It's just figuring out the steps for us. Um, so I think it might have been something else that caused that issue. Uh, so now if we change, actually, if we zoom in, change the steps, or the um, how many rotations, you'll see the steps don't change where it did before. Uh, so now we don't have to think about the steps, it just parametrically uh, is updated. So if I reduce this down, you'll see the steps again they stay exactly the same we'll bring it all the way down to 20 and then we'll see those those steps anyways that is it um, before I forget there's the github page the link to my github is below uh, I try to uh, share everything uh, if I don't share it it's probably I forgot to, to upload it um, so uh, but typically these this scripts already there so you don't have to worry about that um, but you'll find it I've got to clean this up a little bit so bear with me but uh, you can come over here and just download this or if you want to clone the repo or if you want to uh, do whatever feel free to do that and then I think for this particular one I put it in random scripts and so you'll see the parametric stairs and then there's a gif uh, that I um, that I put in there as well that goes along with it you'll see some other stuff this Easter one is really cool if you want to check that out by the way I didn't mention this but I used uh, Dynamo Sandbox uh, if you use Revit it should work fine I use 2.13 just keep that in mind it may not work in older versions I haven't tested that I didn't use anything fancy, but just keep that in mind. Um, the the course that I mentioned about just doing, I think this is a really co cool course if you're interested in like doing um, uh, doing doing uh, just trying to learn visual tools and, and stuff. 
uh, and just what it takes. Now it is done in, in uh, and it's not intro to parametric modeling Dynamo. It's actually uh, this course down here. And it's intro to parametric modeling. So I would recommend checking this out if you're interested in learning more about Dynamo or if you're okay with Dynamo and you want to get better at it, check that course out, follow along. I think the fact that it's taught in Grasshopper really makes you have to think about what's happening instead of just being told, oh, do these picks and clicks. These are the nodes that you drop and, and you place in there. Instead, you're watching a video about somebody doing it in Grasshopper, whereas in Dynamo, it may be a whole set of different nodes to try to achieve the same thing. The great thing about this this class um, our course is that it's it focuses on a lot of the computational geometry type things that you would need to know uh, vectors you know um, um, I can't think of all the other little things but you know doing math to try to figure out how uh, you know to to to, to face a solar panel to to the sun or a, a panel on a facade um, fabrication parts so how do you create fabrication type parts um, so anyways that's really cool check it out uh, but I just wanted to mention that since we talked about challenges so anyways this is my github you'll find it below let me know if you have any questions and thanks a lot for watching see you guys